Hi everyone, and welcome back to Emily Moon English. In this video, I'm going to continue my Unlocking English Vocabulary series. This video is all about suffixes. Suffixes are not a word. They're a part of a word that come at the end to change the form or grammar. So in this video, I'm going to cover five of the most common suffixes in English. There are many more suffixes than just these five, but this is a good place to start. The first suffix I'm going to teach is en, n. This suffix turns adjectives and nouns into verbs and means to make or to change something. So here are some examples. Heighten, fasten, weaken, sweeten, lengthen, and strengthen. You can see that some of these root words are adjectives like weak or sweet, and some are nouns like height or strength. The next suffix is al, al. This suffix changes nouns into adjectives, and it means relating to the root word. Some examples are accidental, reversal, regional, universal, personal, and natural. So take a look at a word like regional. The root word is the noun region, which means an area. Regional makes it into an adjective related to the region. All right, our third suffix is able or ible able, ible. This means it's able to be that root word. This suffix has a lot of examples in English. Just a few are likable, debatable, desirable, lovable, excusable, noticeable, measurable, reliable, fashionable, flexible, responsible, and terrible. Notice how some of these end with A-B-L-E and some end with I-B-L-E. Try to keep these spellings in mind as you study. Here's our fourth suffix, A-T-I-O-N, I-T-I-O-N, or T-I-O-N. Asian, Ishan, Shun. The pronunciation's a little strange, right? It's not Tian, it's Shun. Some examples are alteration, definition, nutrition, repetition, production, convention. Again, notice the spelling. There are slight differences between words that end in A-T-I-O-N, I-T-I-O-N, and just T-I-O-N. Keep these spellings in mind as you practice. All right, the last suffix we'll cover in this video is ism, ism. This suffix takes verbs and makes them into action nouns, nouns that are related to the quality of something or the practice of an idea. Let me give you some common examples. We have minimalism, capitalism, consumerism, imperialism, Buddhism, plagiarism, criticism, racism, and sexism. Now, this final suffix may not be as common as the other four, but there are still a lot of examples in English. So keep an eye out for what we call isms, or concepts of certain beliefs. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video on five common suffixes used in English. The more you study suffixes, the easier it will be to remember vocabulary meanings and grammar and improve the way you understand and use English. There are a lot more suffixes and prefixes that I can cover, so if you want to hear more, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to make more of these videos for you. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more English learning. And if you're interested in vocabulary, make sure to check out the rest of my Unlocking English Vocabulary playlist. So thanks again for watching and keep learning. Bye.